Hello, welcome back to AAOL. I'm Rollins Cameron, this is Swift, we're going to be casting Resurgence versus Foul Play Fire. I hope you're ready for a great, great game here. Uh, I really can't wait for the game, it's going to be great. It's going to be uh, two very good teams, and I I, I think uh, Foul Play Fire have got potential. A resurgence of the old YOLO, they've obviously got potential to uh, you know take out this map. What, 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 are, your, what are your thoughts? So I think uh, Resurgence played uh, really well last week. I was um, really impressed with how they played against uh, Interrobang last week. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing this game. Yeah, so what does Foul Play Fire need to do, do to uh, beat this team? Um, I think it's going to be difficult for them, uh, to be honest. Um, I believe they're currently the uh, lowest ranked team in this league, am I right? Uh, I no, they're middle ranked. Middle ranked. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of foul play. Foul play is uh, lowest, <laughs> lowest in the 3k league. Yeah. But no, these guys are middle ranked. I think uh, so. We've we've seen a dive come out from the side of our uh, resurgence. So that's obviously quite interesting to see. We've got a um, more of a death ball coming coming out from the side of uh, foul play fire. So let's see how these these two teams play out together. Uh, I'm. I'm quite interested to see how the uh, the reaper's going to work out in this uh, this dive combo. We have uh, the researchers making their way to point. We have Papo Fire moving from the um, outside point on onto the main main choke point. God, Death Gun running in dies instantly to a nice rocket by Hader there. Coming in, this is the engagement that they need. Song's picking up a nice kill on some in the back line. And we're going for the res. Res comes out. Catch points are inactive. Both teams are trying to bust the point. Uh, so it's a lot of so free then. Absolutely, just firing the kills where they need them. Tickin' me dead. Nice kill on the bouncy bear. Pretty falling low. But Nels are 1 HP. They're still able Nels to survive. are escaping death nearly 3 times. <laughs> Quite a job. Pulse bomb comes under the bouncy bear. Bouncy bear just walks straight, in, straight into the mercy. And that's real bad luck. It looks like Fatplay Fire will take this first point. Oh no, too late. the cap's already come out from the side of Resurgence. Looks like uh, Falpo to will recap this point. Man, with already 25% of the point, that's just really good for Resurgence. Uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like Norza was carrying so hard in that fight there on the Reinhardt. He got so low so many times, but no one was able to finish him off. We see Resurgence coming from the top side here, trying to take the high ground advantage. Uh, I'm unable to find much at the moment, but uh, still looking quite promising from the R. Uh, High ground. 96, 97% on this dragon blade. Let's see what they can find out here. Only having, uh, we've got poly transcendent, so hopefully that they win conditions to kill this, uh, the Yada. We've got songs poking from the side. Haven't really engaged yet. Speeding to the right side. And sh slam comes out. Melza with a great slam. Just, and the follow up's coming through. Haven't, haven't found any kills yet. Oh, D, -D Mech comes out. Dragon blade comes out. And a transcendent. Oh, and. Just falling straight in the trap of Foul Play Fire. Death Both Gun. teams using Valkyrie there as well. Best gun team take out by the thing. Bouncy Bear also been taken by another Nuzzle with a double kill. Hater coming up with the attack visor. This seems like a lot of ults coming up from the side of Fire Play Fire. This could hurt them in the long run, but they definitely take this fight. But lots Look. of ults from using from both sides, actually. Look how much work Norse is doing though on the Reinhardt. He still hasn't died yet. He's He's keeping the team alive here. I think, yeah, the um, the Zenyatta and the Mercy is a really good combo that they've been working on. I, I, I see it's really been coming out here. So, uh, Resurgeon taking the higher ground again. Uh, so, I'm them having the McCree now instead of the Tracer. Let's see how this works out for them. Uh, did you see how low the Mercy got there from those uh, long range McCree shots? Escaping with nothing. And Noza, another Shadow already. Instant pick onto Zonks. That is absolutely great. Oh. Pulse and there's a, that's three ultimates coming out from the side, but that's 99, it's going to be 90 cents already for Falco Fire, and then only 25%. Oh, but two kills coming out from the side of Resurgence under Tukumi Dan and Hader, as both DPS is down from the side. Can they retake this point? They're also coming in with the charge, doesn't find anything. Trying to find his way. Looks like he's just feeding ult charge now, and that's going to be really unfortunate for the side of Falco Fire, but that's kills coming out from the side of Resurgence, even though it looks like a really bad fight for them after being grabbed and shattered down with a pulse bomb. That was an interesting fight and I honestly wasn't expecting it to finish like that. 
It's 99 to 30, 40 percent. So uh, we'll see how this runs. Enemy forced out by both dive tanks. Let's see if he can move in here. He's got 74 in, on his attack visor. Uh, looking for it. Nozzle with another. I still has a slam. Zong to take out. He can be dead with a nice headshot there. Zong's on to Hader as well. Hader, Zong's just going off here. The amount of kills he's been. I think. I think that McRae switch is really helping them here. They're able to uh, push back up by fire right back into their spawn, and they're gonna have to regroup here and go for another push. They're just gaining ult here. Looks like it's gonna be like a six ult for both teams very shortly, so this could be quite an interesting fight how they both uh, try these out. Quite interested to see. So they're coming up to the higher ground. I'll play five, moving along. Death gun taking out, taking me dad early in the fight. Bouncy bear being taken out by Polly. Emma with the bears on to tickle. Oh, looks like Tyre comes out, and so does the self destruction of Flipjack and Emma. Rennie also taking out Nozzle at the same time. Polly taking out Halak. This looks like it's going to be another uh, win for uh, researchers. There's one fight left. 19, looks like it's going to be 99 to 99 fight. Can Falfo fight touch the point? This is going to be quite interesting to see. Oh, Bouncy Bear coming out with a primal rage. Can they even touch the point? They can! Tickle with that touches the point. Uses Pulse Bomb. Death Guy getting killed to Emma. Rennie onto Hader. Oh, Death Gun falling into a nice fire strike from Nozza. That's very sketchy with 16 HP. Getting killed up on point though. Looks like Fat Play Fire with a nice slam by Nozza. He takes out two Hey like and Bouncy Bear. As long as we're killing some Polly and Tickle Me Dead. It's even even. Oh, just Flipjack and Nozza on the point. Nozza falls, Flipjack by himself. Can he do much? Takes out Dark Prince, but that's not going to be enough. That's going to fall. Oh no! Emma touches the point again. It's a res off as well. How does this happen? How do they let this happen? Death Destruct comes out, Flipjack gains charge. Emma falls, Death Gun picking up a double kill there. Absolutely insane. Flipjack gonna die on point. That's gonna kind of get ticked down, and that's gonna be one wow. point down. The resurgence. What did you think of that fight? <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed at... Um... Resurgence able to bringing that to to bring that back so quickly at the end there, um, and and hold on in overtime as well. Um, Did such a good job. I think um, there's we've got a pause coming in here. Technical pause from the side of Pipe Pipe Fire with Polly. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's a one. It's a one nil. Um, um, I'm getting the feeling we're probably um, going to play all five maps here on this. Uh, on this control map. Yeah, so uh, if you haven't already watched uh, AA well before, we, ha we we do our best of five on the control point here on Lijiang Tower, on all maps actually, um, both in 3K and Amateur League. I, I've been told it's to make it more a competitive environment, and I guess it does because I just gonna have to rethink their strategies every fight. Uh, you have to win three points. That's a lot of, a lot of play style on one control point. Um, so I think that the strategies are going to have to keep evolving, especially on a 99 to 99%. Like if uh, researchers try something different and then so you do uh, the side of Fair Play Fire, like we could see some different strategies coming out here and see what see what they can do. Um, so I think Fair Play Fire right now have opted for the double hit scale. Let's see if they swap off that, but um, the double projectile from the side of uh, researchers here. So it's quite interesting to see these, um, these two uh, styles of comps with like so I'm going back to the uh, McCree, but not on Zox, so I think that's a bit of a miss, uh, misplay, because Zox is doing so well on that McCree last fight. Anyway, here we go into round two of uh, Li Zhang Tower, so give it up for the teams here, coming into the point. Um, the thing I find interesting is uh, both teams are running Mercy still. Um, mm. It's not something I was expecting after the Mercy changes, and... Um, and this week in the AAOL as well, uh, teams are allowed to run Moira. No one's opted for Moira yet in this game. I think that uh, Moira obviously works with different comps, and especially on a uh, control point map, we were able to see uh, Mercy work extremely well, rather than a Moira, I think, with the uh, her hosting and the ability to fly around constantly. Uh, I think that's what they, they've opted for, especially when running Farah as well, Mercy Farah. Uh, in that first fight there, we just see, uh... Death Guard Rick just killing everyone. <laughs> just killing out, just uh, spamming them as they walk into the junk crowd. So they're gonna have to really think their strategies to come in here. Hater's hopping off to the, uh, fire. I'm not sure if he was already on the fire, but... He's bringing some nice damage over see, here. See, look at Death Gun's ult charge there. 80%, 80, 90% for the Riptide, and... That's just from the first fight. 
Yeah, Junkra does charge his ultimate fairly quickly. So for the nice boop onto Polly. Polly gonna fall to his doom. You can't resurrect that. That's gonna another kill onto Nozo and don't jump with the chicken with that, and that's gonna have to be another reset for Falcon Fire. Hey, looks like he's gonna fall to a nice double shot from Zonks with the double damage boost of Mercy. This is they can really, really think their strategies. It's not really working out for them so far. Resurgence here too, having a massive ult advantage. Look, they've nearly got all six of their ultimates online here. Like, unable to find the kills that they need. Getting a kill onto Hey, like, that could be good. That's no barrier for them. Zoinks falling as well to Tickle Me Dad. That's a lot of resistance coming up from the side of uh, Resurgence to see if they can hold this point. They're really aiming for it. They've had to use some ult and they have to use them unaffectively as well. Reset's really just throwing away this fight when they really should be winning this. They're not. Uh, Death Garden getting a nice kill into Nelson with the mine. Kato still got the barrage available. Gets taken out by it. the Rip Tire. Zoinks with a nice kill. Um, that's going to be a nice. That's going to be the retake from Resurgence there. Even after wasting a whole bunch of ults when they really shouldn't have, Death Gun just with a triple mind kill there, and absolutely just doing a god's work here. Resurgence had to give everything that they had there just to win that fight. Um, but they're getting exactly. close to self destruct and sound barrier. Mm, we've got Flipjack uh, sending in uh, Diva Bomber King to see if he and he finds one Death Gun. That's a really, really important key. pick. We've got uh, Rini also being demacked by Polly, Dark Prince also falling. This looks like it's definitely going to be foul place by this fight. And Tick with Dad just going to clean it up with the attack bus, and that's going to be uh, 99 to 0%. I really need to hold on, need to play pitch perfect here for the uh, foul fire fight if they want to win this round. Yeah, one team fight, um, and they could lose this round. Having the Pharaoh uh, when you're already controlling the point is much more better than having the Pharaoh trying to attack a point. And I found that from experience. So, obviously, so now Fat Black Fire has the advantage here with the Feral defense. And you can see Resurgence's Pharaoh being targeted here as well. Hader on point. I don't really like the positioning from Hader where he's on point and trying to fire rockets down. He's quite susceptible to, to many dangers, but he's unable to. He's coming out from Death Gun here and he's. That's Oh, Flipjack taking on Songs. Oh, Flipjack's back's falling. Nossi gets his kill on the Bouncy Bear. Songs. Oh, and this is going to be another retake for Flipjack. You can see it here already. Death Gun with another kill onto Polly, bidding onto Flipjack. And... Oh, Nossi got kill onto Songs, but I don't think it'll matter too much. Flipjack gets a rest. Let's see what we can do. Hey, like, falling off the map somehow. That's quite interesting. Really <laughs> falling. Killing Nossi. Nossi gets a rest, though. Hater hey, killing. Nice kill onto Death Gun. Just really stalling out this point here for Pepe Fire, doing an absolutely excellent job. Diva Bomb on point, finds nothing, Death Gun and kill into Polly. So can we that with an abs with another attack fire, so let's see what we can find here. Nice, gets one. Can he find two? Finds one on the Halak, and that's gonna be a hold for Fair Play Fire. A really scrappy fight here in the Amateur League, but and seems I'm, to I'm, stall I'm really it out. confused about Resurgence's strategy there. They've just wasted a lot of time when they had time to group up and um, do a full push using their ults, but yeah, and then and that pick on the Pharaoh just now. Yeah, that was they're pretty gonna be stupid scrambling to get onto the point. Look, they, look it's nine, It's gonna be ninety-nine to ninety-nine in a second here, and I think Zoinks just really threw it for them. They've had to engage without Zoinks, and they've just gone for it. But that's, that's the point. This guy gets a double, so this could turn the other thing by. Bouncy Bear uses Primal Rage. Uh, nice base comes onto Zoinks. Zoinks use all, oh, but Zoinks they trade. A barrage for a rocket, that's what happens. Pretty on point, 70% of the self attack. This could be really useful. We have two ults to the side of uh, Pathway Fire, but they're going to be unuseful as Rini takes out Emma. Rini, that, that kill that Rini got onto Emma was really important. She's just using her Valkyrie. Okay. Oh, but the. <laughs> what? I just don't even know what happened. So, what happened <laughs> there was Hader gets a kill, Rini sends his Diva Bomb on point, gets two, but he was unable to touch it and the timer runs out. Damn, and that's. Well, that's I mean, gotta hurt for a surgeons. Yeah, is that luck or is that just absolute skill from the side of Falco Flare? But so that's a C9 right here in the Amateur League, folks. If you've seen it all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dark Prince on the Moira here. So they're finally pulling out the Moira and the Junker. I find Junker to be extremely uh, useful on this map. So yeah, this map especially. I think that's they're going to find a lot of use, especially with the amount of mine kills and uh, he's being able to charge his rip tire so efficiently. Uh, side of Falco Fire, they've got a Genji as well to uh, complement their pretty much death ball comps. 
Instead, they've got a Reaper and a Junkrat to the side of Resurgence. They also have a Lucius Speed Boost, which they have to mean they have a positional advantage. They're fighting here on point, maneuvering around, Reaper flanking onto the supports. They better be comfortable with this. Bouncing over the charge on the Noza. Noza unable to counter charge. Oh, but Tickle me there, kill onto Bouncy Bear. It's even and even. So Jack loses his Mac though, and oh, but if best comes to the Noza, this could be. Oh no, I was about to say it could become even, but it looks like Vinny and Flipjack and Polly fall to Vinny and Death Gun, and that's going to be quite quite detrimental, and they've had to cap the point first off here. They also got to back up. they so. retreating really quickly here as well, giving up the point, when still it was pretty even. Um, no, I think I think they were taking too much damage. You could see that Nozzle was, had, had a lot of, didn't have enough health to really re-engage. That's a really smart play by them. And they were doing re-engage before they grabbed too much point of the too much uh, point capture anyway. And we're here with the... Uh, oh, but now they're going to have to back up. Nope, did they get a res? Can they get a one? Can they get a res into... Oh, look. That's two reses out, but Nozzle falling. And that's unfortunate for Falco Fire, as they've wasted the Valkyrie and have to regroup here. It was smart play, but they were unable to set themselves quick enough, and then they've fallen. 40% here from the side of research. Coming up with 50% here, fair play fire, ready to regroup. Research is still posted in the same position they've had all match. Reaper walking in onto the uh, onto the death ball. Grab comes out, Polly with a nice transcendence. He uses death blossom but doesn't don't find anything. Oh, and then that shadow comes out from Nelson. Can they clean up on these kills? And wow, Research just really just wasted all their ults there. There was nothing they could do. They used beat. They used barrier. I mean, they barrier and death boss, but they couldn't find any kills in their nozzle. With an absolute great sh sh slam, and they're able to find all the kills they need. That's a really good rate retake. Even though 77 percent already captured, I felt like I have a really good fighting chance here. And that's a pick on the death gun, and that's going to be uh, really quite detrimental. They're running devil main tank on such research, and that's also uh, something to note as well. Maybe with the Mario pick, that's what they're opting for. Oh, and another great hook by Flipjack. Flipjack. Absolutely, just he's still making this uh, this push has to be prolonged by uh, researchers here. Just farming your it's a bit of poke here from both sides. A lot of ults, uh, lots of ults from both sides, really. Moral coming out, finding one on the hater. Holy killing Dark Prince, that's a one out gone. Good shutdown. Blue Jack using whole hogs. Can't Finds one of the bouncy bag, gets Zoink low. Oh, and now hooks onto Zoink, but is it enough? And Zoink's able to fight, finish out that kill. It's 50% to 77%. Can Fair Play Fire stall it out? No, they can't. They decide to back it off here. Yeah. Riptide here from Rennie. Oh, and Zoink's with a double kill. Oh, it just misses the uh, Mercy who is using Valkyrie there. Oh, and Tickle We Dead able to use Attack Rising finds two. One of the Mercy and the Reaper. That's super, super useful here. So Jack now finding the kills he can. That was a point. huge misplay by, by Resurgence there. They had they had more numbers and Rennie was using Riptide but wasn't able to connect on to the Mercy who was using Valkyrie. And at the same to get back time, into the fight. at the same time they used Death Blossom and found Super was instantly rezzed by the Valkyrie. So that's two wasted ults really, if you think about it. So I'm gonna have to find. I think we add on to another one to Death Gun. He's obviously gonna be tilted too. Oh, and this is gonna go to the side of foul by fire. That's two one in the resurgence. We, it's the best of five, remember, folks. We've still got one more match to be played if foul by fire can close out, or two more if the resurgence have a comeback. So I'm really quite excited to see how this goes, man. These teams are so competitive, and um, bad to see it. So many of their fights are so even, and they just trading kills until one of them has to back off or there's only one of them left on the on the point um, this is mm. good to watch oh, well swift swift likes it everyone likes it so uh <laughs> let's get into the next round here uh going back to opting back for the uh to dive but no fairer from the side of Falcon fire which i think is a misplay by them they're not thinking about it 
Let's see what they go. Fail play instantly shining rockets down. Let's see what Nazi can get down here. Hasn't dropped bubble yet, drops bubble late. But the ice for it should have popped the bubble early just to give him a little bit more of uh, sustainability. It's gonna be that funny one onto Bowser Bear and D Mac onto Rinny. Zonks onto D Mac onto Flipjack, but that's. Fado and another one to Rinny. That's going on to Tickle Me Dad, and then Rez comes out onto Melza. It's pretty even here. But looks like uh, Foul Play Fire have point control. Halo Tickle Me Dad. Again. So close to killing the Death Gun on Farah there, but. Just wasn't able fighting. to finish him off. Yeah, but just kind of fighting too and turning it back into the favor of Resurgence. And that's going to be a uh, point capture. Nice job by Death Gun there on the, with a the double kill. Really good to see some really good amateur mechanical skill coming out from both teams. I feel like at the moment that Foul Play Fire don't have enough to counter the Farah. Um, Death Gun lived through that whole fight. Um, just getting healed way too quickly for anyone to do enough damage to take him out. Well, you heard it here. You had a can of Pharaoh first. Here you go. <laughs> Coming through. Death Gun with a nice skill to Nelson. Hato with the dagger blade doesn't find much. Dark Prince of the Resident of Zones. Emma finds another rest as well. Pikey coming from both sides. Death Gun trying to find as much damage as he possibly can, but unable to really connect. Uses are uh, the barrage, but just dies like most pharaohs in this game, eh? So can be that using tactical device, and this looks like this could be an easy over. It's a little bit of an over ult, I would say, but uh, at least they get a retake, eh? I haven't got a retake yet, but he's a long point, but that's a retake. Damn, I, I think they used like three or four ults there to really just think for a really pro prolonged fight. And now, researchers have 58% for them, and this could become quite a close match here. Researchers moving around uh, left side for them. A lot of poke coming out. Flipjack and Nelson are separated, but that's okay. So it could be A with a nice kill into Bouncy Bear. Well done, this guy can do no wrong. Riddy with a nice kill into Hater. It's it's uh, evened up. 5v5. Race comes under Bouncy Bear. Researchers with the absolute advantage here. Boom. Stops the uh, um, deeper bomb. Also coming through. He's always picking up kills. Death Gun also calling a nice kill to Emma. Moving around point. Finding what they can. Sigma Dead falls down the bounce bed. And that's uh, looks like to be another point to uh, Resurgence. I think they found about. Oh, the hater! Coming in with a god player with the. Uh, oh, but doesn't find much and gets shut down with the ultimate. Hopefully he swaps after. off after that. Otherwise, it's a bit of a waste, I would say. But they're just cleaning up kills. We're able to stall from 60%. So, uh, well done to Foul Play Fire. So, it's quite even again. Race taking a little bit here from Foul Play Fire. That's okay. Poking around to see what they can find. I'm gonna have to want to re engage soon, I would say. Nozzo pushing out quite hard. Flipjack with him. Flipjack gets booped off the map. What a boop by Halak. Damn, and that's gonna have to be a full reset. Power play fire. But it doesn't look like it. They're using ults, and they're gonna find them. Tickle Me Dad. Oh, Pazonks with a nice shot down onto Tickle Me Dad. Bouncy Bear kill under Polly. And Dark Prince dancing around as Mercy. See what he can find. Dick and me dad, nice going to the onto the rib tire. Now they come to the death gun. These these fights are just so scrappy going back and forth, back and forth. I'd love to see this right now. Dick and me dad getting nice, absolutely great kills. Demon popped. Finds one into Nelsa, that's a little bit of a misplay. But Jack kills on the bouncy. Dick me dad with no health, gets pulse bombed by Zoinks. Man, back and forth, back and forth, 99% for the side of research they really, work, really, really, really want to win this fight. Pretty coming along. Dealing damage, takes out Emma. Good diva play here. It's a lot of, a lot of damage. Face takes a little bit much, there. escapes with the skin of his teeth here. Getting killed up again. Hater falling. This is an absolute stall tax. Unable to find the kill to play fire. Boom! Another diva bomb, there's so many explosions, such a scrappy fight. 
the 99. Great stalling by Foul Play 5, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's going to be 2 2 here on Li Zhang Tower. Well, I wasn't wrong when I said before that I thought we'd be seeing five rounds here on, on control. Both teams playing pretty well and quite evenly matched. Mm, I think there's a, I think they should have run the fire on that point. I think they would have had more success if Hader was on the fire than he was on the Genji. I think Genji is a great pick by Hader, but he made, he made it work so much better on the fire on that first point. But now. Uh, we're going back to this point. One that Falpo Fire did win, so uh, we'll see how this goes here. This time, though, we're seeing Rinny on the Diva rather than the Junkrat, so interesting seeing teams that have uh, switching their compositions off. Mm, Fim Jack with a nice kill on his Zoinks. Just kind of isolated, can they kill him? They can't. He's unable to. Bouncy Bear dies too, so it's gonna be dead. Unable to create any much space there with Gunsko. Uh, with the Winston pick, and they're able to cap point. With too much hassle here from the side of Falpo Fire. Gunsko unable to find the kills he needed, like he has been in yeah, other fights. Um, Haley here, and then Genji finding work though. Let's see what he can do. Nice Death Gun with a kill into Flip Jack. Are you gonna fall to a bouncy bear? That's gonna be quite, quite detrimental. Bouncy bear having the time of his life in the back line. Tickle be dead. Gonna fall. Bouncy bear. Emma trying to find the bases that she can. Looks like the uh, barrier comes out on the side, but bouncy bear and death gun able to find the kills. And this looks like it's gonna be researching all over again. Man, and they're, they're, they're trying to stall as long as they can, and everyone's just sticking on point. It's a mercy, but falls to Zoinks, and oh, but Fire is gonna try and re engage here, but ends up feeding Alt Charge, which is quite not really what you wanted to be doing, but uh, they do so anyway. And uh, like, oh, and Diva Bomb comes out. And finds a kill into Emma, and that's just really quite sad. A great diva bomb by Rinny Bell. So definitely with a nice kill into Bouncy Bear. They've got a few good ults here, Resurgence, to hold on to this point. Mm. Tracer whiffs the pulse bomb. Another uh, Riptire comes out, fires one into Noza. That's a great pick that they need to win this fight. So he's coming on to kill the hater. That's a tank and a DPS gone. And we're going for a res, really risky. It falls with two death gun. 53 to 42% to spend a whole bunch of ult charge. So she actually just been died rather than pressing E. That's a whole lot of uh, ult charge you gave away. Damn. Death gun, a nice kill into Noza again. That's just he falls right back to spawn. It's 53 to. 53. Finding ultras ever so long. Flip Jack, nice little kill there. Nice little hook. I'm able to find much though. Hey, like on a, on a cheeky little flank there. Hey, just switched off the Genji in favor of the Reaper here. Mm. I'm able to find much as he falls down to the deadly mines of Death Gun. It's 77 to 53 percent. Falpo Fire are really gonna have to find their uh, stride here and go back to this one and reset quickly, otherwise Bell it's gonna Play be a... Fire really unorganized here. Um, Resurgence are just wasting their time now and they're not able to group up or um, push in together. I think the Dragon Rat spam's just too much for Noza Shield and uh, even though we got 6 ult here, they need to go cap tap touch point. It's 90, 98%. Over time it gets hit though and that's what they needed. But the kills come out from the side of Resurgence anyway, and oh, it's all lighting up Resurgence. And it's all blue. Not a back cap there from Emma. <laughs> Get close, but. Desperate man, Death Blossom there. Unable to find much, and that's gonna be 3 nil to the side of Resurgence, and that's gonna be 1 nil in this uh, this series, so. Uh, 
Death Gun. Playing absolutely outstanding on this giant crab. Unable to be shut down at all. Running really great mines and looks like this could be a riptide player of the game. Oh, just finding spam and that's that's really unfortunate, I'd say, really. Oh, another kill into ammo. This looks so dirty from there. It's a 2 3 2 map, though, as well. So even, so even. Up until that final moment where Foul Play Fire just really couldn't find their stride again. I'm going to go for a quick little break here as we load up the next match. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Roy Escobar and Swift here uh, casting round map 2 of the AAOL Amateur League here We've got Foulplay 5 vs Resurgence um, Resurgence are now 1 in the series um, and Foulplay Fire are nil. Uh, this was a really close match on Lee Jiang Dao, which is an absolutely great match but we're moving on to uh, Watchpoint Gibraltar here aren't we? and uh, I'm excited yeah. to see excited to see how this is going to uh, end up being uh, Working out. So, what are your thoughts on, on what what foul play fight needs to do to win? Um, I don't know that there's really one thing that I can put it down to. I feel like both teams are playing really well, and it's just a matter of how long they're taking at um, winning or losing fights. I think both teams can get better at knowing when to pull out of a fight. Um, there's a, especially there on, on control, there's a lot of time being wasted, um, and it makes a big difference, especially when you're playing control and nearly every round's going to 99-99, so, uh, better time management, um, and alt management for both sides here, um, and whichever one focuses on that, I think is going to have an edge. Yeah, as we have uh, Foul Play Fire here on the defense running the uh, D.Va, Ryan, Nice Team, Tracer, Soldier, 
uh, Zenyatta, see how this defense holds up against this uh, dive comp with a uh, with a with a Widowmaker. Let's let's see what Hellzong does on this Widowmaker. I'm quite interested to see. It's got a golden gun as well. It's uh, obviously going to be making a huge difference in his play. <laughs> Trying to find sightlines over the side. I'm able to find much. Trying to find a kill on Sir Tickle Me Dad. Tickle Me Dad able to dodge. Gets a kill on Ooh, gives a nice kill on Sir Zonixon. Oh, that's on here. As long as I'm able to hit anything. Oh, but he hits a nice one finally on Polly. Finally does his job. Oh, and finds another one's a hater. No. Zonix, can you do no wrong? It's just another reoccurrence of last week and Tickle Me Dad. Absolutely carrying that fight here for Zoinks. One Just headshot really on the Widow company. is enough to justify running the Widow, but two headshots in a row there, and that wins them that first point. And with uh, Valplayer Fire set up that far back on this uh, first point, they didn't have time. As soon as they lost that fight, they conceded that first point. Mm. So it can be dead straight onto Zoinks, and oh, so it's an absolutely fabulous kill there. Uh, Tickle me dead, trying to find his way onto the Mercy. I know, tries to avoid this Mercy uh, damage. Obviously, it's quite surprising amount. Has the uh, Pulse Bomb ready. Looks like Tickle me dead's going here for a spawn camp, almost. Goes for a stick, doesn't find anything. Back on. Tickle me dead, back onto the Widowmaker. Ain't find much. Just taking this high ground, Polly with a nice kill into the uh, Death Cup. Tickle me dead on this really wide flank. Trying to get Bouncy Bird to contest him, but. Looks like they just feed all charts instead. Tiki Man's in his backline, and they're really quite worried about it. Zoinks on top of the uh, space shuttle, trying to find an angle. Third Jack flying up onto uh, Tiki Man's head. Let's go with the last gun to Nosa. Barrage kill, in fact. Hater up on top. Trying to find his stride. Zonks so trying to find an angle, but he's unable to win. Probably fire is able to stall it out. Emma dodging shots left, right, and center here. Oh, finds a headshot! Clutch moment there. Flipjack only just <laughs> killing the Zonks. Wow. Hato coming out the sides here. Finds one of the winning. Can he find any more? No, dies to Death Gun, and that's going to be uh, quite detrimental, I'd say. Death gun, spamming grenades down, can't get a kill to flu jack. Unable to, gets the mech kinda half. Flu jack feeds his mech again and that's gonna be quite unfortunate here. Flu jack dies to a boop. Oh when death gun! Fight living on 5 HP! He needs the heals but I'm out of kinda of stuck and now finally finds heals. Noza slams him down but Speed self charge in the process. That was an alright defense, I would say, for the most part. Stored a lot of times, forced a lot of ults out. Uh, I think, um, yeah, it was not too bad. Hedy gets dived instantly there and dies, and that's unfortunate. Just due to bad spawns. Um, we have Death Gun here. Shield on the payload. Moving way up to the high ground. So he's trying to find an angle underneath. Instantly gets flanked by Tickle Me Dad. Absolutely brilliant job spot from him here. Looking around, looking for a false one. Death Gun with an absolute triple kill onto the Riptide. And it's sticking over Tickle Me Dad onto Lynx, but Death Gun absolutely doing God's work here. Looks like he's got a fall though. Or oh, leaving on 1 HP. Nah, falls down to Noza. But absolutely just gonna carry the team fight, surely. Surely felt like I have to back up here. Emma not using the res there and I think are they gonna have time to get back on the point and contest this? 100 percent 100 percent Uh they have 100 percent Got touched by Tinker Me Dad, able to touch, but really not enough time to set up a proper push onto the payload as they had to touch it just before it got there, and that's a three 3 minutes and 11 second time thing from the side of Resurgence. Pathway Fire having a lot of real problems here on this defense. Uh, 
I never to set up in the places I really, really wanted to. I never to play the comp I really needed to. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, great play from the Widowmaker. Death Gun with an amazing triple kill. I feel Doing... like they got split up a lot as well and staggered, and they they just didn't have time, or they didn't make the time to uh, group back group back up again. Especially at the end, they just weren't able to put together a defense. Especially once Emma died on Mercy, I think they were done. There was nothing that they could do. They were just respawning too slowly. Mm, I completely agree with that. It's just it, it's. Yeah, like defense on Jolta, especially payload. Okay. It's about when you can test the payload and when you don't contest the payload. And I think they, they really haven't figured that out yet. And I think, um, well, remember they hadn't figured it out, but they weren't able to do, com commit to what they really wanted to do. On the defense here, we have uh, Diva, a uh, Winston, Mercy, Lucio, uh, uh, the Junkrat, and the uh, Soldier. So obviously quite... I've been running Death Gun on this junk round. It seems to be working out quite well for them. They're getting a lot of spam damage in the areas that they need it to. You're seeing a lot of kills with a mine. A lot, a lot of, of great junk rats in this competition as well. Um, I have to yeah, shout out to uh, Chung Leon in Terrabang for some great uh, junk rat play last week against Resurgence. Mm, okay. Well, I think we should have a, a junk rat. Grab all the best junk rat players, but they match a. <laughs> I'll be up for that. Uh, let's see how this uh, defense holds up. Guys, uh, so they're holding much, much further than Fairplay. I think Fairplay Fire's strategy works well, but it didn't seem to really hold up as much as they liked. Took me dead. Oh, unable to hit the headshot though. Oh, the fire's the second body shot from the Zoinks, and Zoinks falling instantly here. Took me dead, misses his second shot, but that's okay. It's died by the wind, so losing a lot of health. HP to. Needs the heals. Can't find them. And man, he can be dead. Finding. Living with the skin of the team. But Death Gun. Killing, finding a kill onto Flintrack and D-making him as well. Also jumping in, getting a nice kill onto Dark Prince. Oh, and. All these swap offs to the Widowmaker. Widow, Widow, Widow. 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 And I cannot wait to see how this one really plays out. This could be absolutely great fun. Cars being pushed up, uh, 55 meters here. Just both supports are some payload here. Not really getting a lot done. Really should have backed up there. Quite you see, the, the difference here between this push and the uh, push last round is that um, foul play fire. They were able to get the payload to this point for nothing. Yeah, but they had to force their way there, you're quite right. And I think, um, got Hader up here on the high ground, finding, uh, see if we can go into this flank. Using the Chroma skin though, so obviously points down for that. Um, this guy's even Dean Discord, focusing him down. Unable to find much with him, back, back left, see if they can find much onto that. And man. Hater getting sniped out of the air. Take me out swapping off the Widowmaker onto the Tracer. Obviously trying to obviously counter and I think um it might work out for them in the end. But D making on the flip joke point for the nice kill into the death gun. Absolutely great work there from the Zenyata. Uh flip Jake jumping off the map to try and regroup his mech. A lot of poking, a lot not this regrouping isn't working out too well for them and in fact uh, I think if I need to really group up further and further back. And walls come out now, this is just going to stall them out the flankers for longer and longer and longer and I just, I just think uh, it's going to be quite a hard push for Falpoke Fire. There's only a minute 30 left. Let's see what Falpoke Fire can make of this. Nelson jumping up top, let's see what he can do here. Doesn't find much. Oh, and gets taken out Polly as well. Nelson absolutely just god work here. Being focused of... down by the diva, but... It's Diva that loses their mech and... <laughs> Zonix trying to find these killers, man. This is a solid defense here from Resurgence. As soon as Zonix switched onto that, that Widowmaker to counter the Foul Play Widowmaker, Foul Play Fire no longer have a Widowmaker and the payload's stuck in the car wash with less than a minute to go. 
quite right here. Oh, and an absolutely brilliant pulse bomb coming out here from the side of Pikachu Me Dad. Hello with what an absolutely great Dragon Blade with Vinny with two and Vinny with one, so making it quite an even battle. What just happened? <laughs> I don't even know, just absolutely a million odds coming from both sides. Hey, falling on the payload. Oh, he also died into another mine. That was by himself. Looks like he's just going to pop his bubble and try and get out of here, but unable to. It's just going to put another mine into his face. Man, there's only 30 seconds, 20, 20 seconds left. What can Falfay Fire do? They need to work hard. We've got Winston up in the rafters. Hey, doesn't see him. They've got four ults to use here, and they need to manage them well. I think there's nothing to manage, they need to win this point, they need to use all of them as soon as they can. Bouncy Bay with a kill into Flute, Jack. B so comes out from the side of Falfay Fire. Oh, Leeds gets shut down before he can cast Barrier, that's going to be absolutely huge. Falfay Fire, hey, dying to the uh, Riptide, that's okay. As long as the nice comes into Kimmy Dad, bringing the kill into Falfay and Death Gun onto Emma. Man, this looks like this absolutely great solid defense inside of Resurgence. Fair play fight. I'm able to find the kills they needed. I'm able to find the angles they needed. Just dying. That's going to be 3 nil on the side. Man, Resurgence 2. Fair play fight. Neil. Damn. What an absolutely great match here. After an even match on Koth, we've just seen the absolute steamroll from the side of uh, Resurgence. Pretty with the play of the game here. Yeah, that's really interesting. Um, both teams so evenly matched there on the control, and now here on Escort, it's resurgence just couldn't be stopped. This is due down to practice, I don't know, but uh, absolutely good job here. Look at these cards. I think uh, we'll go through another break here, but man, stick around for the final map of the series. Uh, we'll find out soon, but that was Watchmen Repulse, an absolute 3 0 smash. That's 2 0 to resurgence. Okay. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here we have foul play fire against resurgence here in Volskite Industry. It's two 0 to resurgence so far after a Koth map on Li Zhang and a payload map on Watch One Chipotle. Uh, close matches for both sides, but um, quite an absolute convincing win on uh, Watch One Chipotle from the side of resurgence who are in the blue are on the blue side. We have foul play fire in the red. Uh, so we have uh, researching this defending first, and looks like they're running a uh, a counter dive strike on the back left, and we have um, fair play fire in the red. Uh, looks like we're also running dive. So this is the AAOL, and welcome back as we head into Volskaya Industry, the Russian map of the world. Holding that this back left corner here for uh oh, and had a quite embarrassingly. Uh, Waste what? time for so far. I don't understand. Happened. Quite interesting. That's quite a. Uh, and interesting... look, fail play fire just have to stand around and here wait. and wait, wait ten seconds for Hater to get back. <laughs> Respawn and Hater's not going to be uh, not happy with himself in that one. That's quite a. Uh, there you go. Looks like they're hilarious. going around far left. Oh, here. But, and resurgence have responded with uh, moving in, fighting on this. Uh, Right side flank was pretty insane. 
I think as soon as they saw a uh, hater fall into the void, they wanted to check it out. And that's what I think they did there. Um, and that's really good tactical mindset from the side of Resurgence. And they're able to stop them push there on the right side. I think that's what's happened here, don't you think? Wow, Hater gets a kill into Death Gun, li links onto Fujiak, Death Gun. Oh. Tickle me, Dad. Going to Zoinks. Link's falling low by getting healed up. No, I was just slapping around the links. Dark Prince killing. I'm rezzing. That's it, absolutely great. People falling low on the side of Cal 25. Let's see if we get healed up here. They can be down on barely any health. Gets healed up again, though. Oh, here's the stick onto Zoinks, and that's really well done by the side of Cal Play Fire. I'm saying they're gonna actually take this point in the second time around. And that's absolutely well done by the side of Cal Play Fire. Despite that really unusual and slow start. <laughs> Here we have uh, an absolutely great job. So, um. Look, well four, done, well four done. Four ults online there for a surgeon, so they should be able to hold off a uh, quick push here from Foul Play Fire. Mm -hmm. So, can Dad here on the back line? Let's see what he can do. Links on the kill to Noza. Hater onto Bouncy Bear. Traded Hater with a nice kill on his eyes, but gets shut down by Rini. Dark Prince with a nice. nice oh, play. Wow. Ult's coming out from both sides, but it looks like Foul Play Fire are winning as we're able to get some cap percentage, but oh no, it's been contested by the side of Resurgence. B comes out and this looks like it's going to be a re uh, fight one by the side of Resurgence. Uh, committing the barrier there was uh, kind of smart as they just easily clear out the fight after that. Yeah, they um, needed that sound barrier, but they used Valkyrie at the start of the fight and Dark Prince got picked off, so it's going to be a little while yet before they get that Valkyrie back. All systems checked out. Hmm, we have uh, Foul Play Fire resetting up for the next attack onto the second point of all sky. I'm quite interested to see how they'll, they'll attempt this. Um, there's a lot of ways you can do it. So I think we see uh, Tsukumi Dad going in a nice little flank on the left side. Whoa, good kill. Tsukumi Dad flanking around then Dark, Dark Prince. He actually killed Bouncy Bear, Zoinks, really. An absolutely great kills here. Tsukumi Dad with a pulse bomb. The ready. Can he find anything? No, we get shut, shut down by Rini and Zoinx. Absolutely great job here. So we've got four minutes left here to uh, see what um, Falcon Fire can really pull out of the bag here. I'm quite interested to see. So I think I like to do a lot of dry pushes when when I play Volsky or any two CP maps. Drawing out ultimates from the defenders, but you're drawing them a lot of them out quickly is the best thing you can do. Um, so let's see if Falcon Fire can, can recreate some uh, high level play here. I reckon they can. I got they put what it takes. So Kumi Dad trying to find his kills on the right hand side flank. To Death Gun an absolutely great wheel onto Polly and Hater. Emma raising both though. So has to push hard. False guy coming out. But Jack Zoe's falling. Flip Jack. Pulse one misses. Bouncy Bear on point, trying to contest to commit there, putting a lot of work in here. Bouncy with a kill into Lynx, for the Jack into Death Gun. It's all, looks like it's in the favor of Half-Life Fire here. Dark Prince is one, but escapes. No, he doesn't. End it with an absolutely great kill with the Dragon Blade onto Dark Prince. Well, well done. Rini, one HP on point. Hold out of mech. Need to kill the Baby Tiva. Sound Barrier comes out from the side of Resurgence. Can they hold on to this point? Both, both Sound Barriers come out from both teams and. Death Gun killing on the poly, Blue Jack on the bouncy bear. It's quite even. They really want this first tick, and it looks like they're gonna have to reset and unable to get this first tick. Like, what a great stall by uh, Resurgence, and I think this should be a uh, has to be a rehold as long as cleaning up kills with the uh, with that, the uh, buys. That, that, that was an overall by by the way. Yeah, that was quite an impressive hold because they did. Uh, lose a few members at the start of that fight and they were able to hold on to it. Um. Mm. Quite interesting as uh, Falfoy Fire going to have to reset here. Flip Jack trying to DM as much of this uh, Drunkrat spam as he can. Death Gun absolutely performing miracles on this Drunkrat. Absolutely well done. Looks like Falfoy Fire pushing to the right side. They've been scattered out here. 
They're taking a lot of face tank damage there, and that's what I've been trying to teach them not to do. It's quite annoying. Links to the nice guns and Nozzle, Polly with a move onto Bouncy Bear. With the res back onto Nozzle, looks like it's going to be kind of even. We need with a nice clone to deep onto Mercy. Wow, and it looks like it's going to be another hold for uh, Resurgence. Hey, it pops out the, uh, the Dragon Blade, but finds two. Can he find it? Finds three. Uh, one onto the deer, and actually be count that as well, but the eye is ready, and I think that's a bit of a waste of an ultimate, yeah. to be fair. Look, despite getting two kills and a DVD Mac, the rest of his team was already dead and out of the fight. That was pretty silly use of the Dragon Blade, and they've, only, exactly. got, look, they've only got a minute 30 left, so... <laughs> Really need to find uh, either more kills or swap off. You know what I mean? So. Let's come with another um, tile. Let's see what we can find here. Coming through. Boom! One on the poly. That's gonna be the pick they need. Nice job, Jack. Killing um, trading our death gun. Songs for the kill on the hater. Taking me down onto Emma. Songs pop pops out to the tactical visor. Let's see what we can find here. This is gonna be quite interesting. Wow, um, Sonic's absolutely just doing an absolutely fantastic job in the soldier here. We're setting up here. A lot of holes from both sides. It looks like they only have 30 seconds left, so foul play fire. Really need to find their stride here, otherwise, this will be quite. Gonna be a, has to be a first point defense. That's gonna be. We all know those are notoriously hard on the two CP maps. We're setting up back to the normal positions. Bouncy Bear diving in, trying to create space. That's good. This is when uh, Dark Prince getting absolute pulse bomb. Death Gun onto the bird. Both nurses are falling. They can be dead. Trying to get into the soldier, but I never get close enough to do any real damage. Sand Barrier comes out from side of Resurgence. Also with it. Countering back with a uh, with a you know, primal rage and end up using the dragon blade, but I'm able to find Marsh and get shot down. That's coming with a double kill onto Emma and Polly, and man, could have been a different story. I feel could have been a different story with the amount of but they wasted. Uh, I think um, moving onto that right side was the um, wrong decision. As they move so slowly up that right, moving quicker would have been the right call, and they're unable to do that. And I'm Quite, uh, quite sad that that, that was the case. Uh, what, what did you feel about that map? I just thought, um, look, for Foul Play of Fire, I didn't think they were very good at using ultimates. Um, the perfect example was Hader using that Dragon Blade. Um, I just thought Resurgence were able to keep it together. Um, they were able to hold on when they didn't have an advantage on that second point. Um, mm. So I thought foul play fire. They they should really have gone all the way there, but um, alt mismanagement and just being able to not being able to finish off a fight. That's um that's their downfall. Yeah. So on looks like on the defense we have got double. Double main tank enough. That's quite interesting, I'd say. Double main tank. Oh no, from Jake going on to the uh, Devil. Bit of a uh, cast a curse there. <laughs> I think, yeah, so a first point defense with uh, counter dive. Obviously, um, not a bad strategy, I'd say. Um, it's, it's got its potential. I think uh, if Tikami Dad can find the, the angles that he wants as a soldier, then um, he's going to find a lot of uh, lot of work there as well. Um, I don't know, I just feel like uh, with the mid we're never actually coming out from Zong, so I'm really excited to see how he uh, plays this one. Yeah, Golden Gun Widowmaker, and he deserves it. Fine, let's see what they can find here, moving up close. Zonix trying to find the angles that he wants. Uh, looks like uh, Resurgence is on the right side. Ammo peeking out to this uh, Widowmaker. 
Goes back to the cover instantly, that was quite good. That was a big headshot. Oh, and double headshot comes to Nelson. Nelson just really not finding, uh, it's not his day. Death Gun with a kill into Flip Jack, but he the Flip uh, do making, so. Definitely not. Definitely not Falco Fire's day at all. And that's going to be really quite fast cap for the side of research. So with some really good kills from uh, Death Gun, so good positioning. Uh, Falco Fire just got countered on the uh, on positioning game there. Yeah, and Research is able to capture it so quickly compared to uh, Foul Player Fires because they didn't mess, a mess around at the start, they got straight on there. Um, and now they've got seven minutes to hit one tick, and it's, I don't think it's going to take them anywhere near that long. Yeah, bouncy bit instant kill into Polly. Flip Jack on a bouncy, but really coming back with another this. Awesome. <laughs> Close to Riptide yeah. there, Death Gun, but taken out. Yeah. Flames being forced out by. Hey, I stopped him onto the ferret against this Widowmaker. Hopefully, it works out. Oh, wow. Interesting Valkyrie coming out there for Resurgence. Yeah, and also diving onto the uh, Widowmaker, but can't do anything about it. Uh, they honestly need to commit more resources to this Widowmaker. <laughs> but right now, oh, really, with an absolutely great double kill and Death Gun. Taking out and just that's over cleaning up kills from the side of resurgence. Look, and resurgence died. had all the time in the world there, but there was no way they wanted to wait. They wanted to take that point right away. Whoa, and that's going to be three nil to the side of resurgence. That's going to be picking up six points against Falco Fire. And I think there's a lot of promising play. It was fairly even for most of it. I just feel like Falco Fire ended up losing it when nah. they really needed to play a bit smarter. Ready with a nice go double kill on Tahata and Flipjack, and uh, man. Great match though, uh, been happy to cast with you, Swift. I've been Royal Eskimo, and this has been the AA as well. Uh, can't Thank wait you. to uh, see you guys next week as well. Uh, we'll be hop popping off to uh, our games now. Thanks for watching this stream. I might just quickly uh, put in a plug next stream here on uh, the main AAOL, AAOL channel for the Amateur League. Coming up next is Electric Blue. Uh, versus in Terrabang, so stick around for that. Mm, definitely, definitely. I think there's also the uh, 3k league on the two as well. Yep. Um, correct, but obviously the amateur league is just much a much better, scrappier league to watch. And I, I find a lot more pleasure watching these guys play than uh, the 3k league, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, that's all from us. I'm Swift, and he's Royal Eskimo, and we'll see you next time. Alright, thank you everyone. Bye.